Here is a really sweet bit of TypeScript code that I saw recently. Specifically, it's this discriminated union here called state. I've already made a video on discriminated union, so I won't go too far into this. But it's an object that can be one of three shapes, either a type of loading or a type of error where we have a message available, or a type of complete where we have the data available, the name, let's say, that we're fetching. A lot of folks pointed out on that video that there is still some duplication here. We have to duplicate this type thing across all members of our discriminated union. This is the discriminant here. Shouldn't there be a way of representing this shape without needing to repeat this type here? Because if I actually just kind of spell one of these wrong, for instance, then this actually throws off the behavior of the whole thing. So ideally, we'd have an API where you can't make that kind of mistake. Well, check this out. I've created a two disco union type helper, which takes in an object where the keys are going to end up as the discriminants. If we hover over state here, we can see that loading ends up just as an object of type loading. Type error ends up looking like this, where we have type error and this message here. So this one gets merged with the type. And it does this through this kind of slightly mad piece of TypeScript magic up here. Let me zoom out a touch to show you the whole thing. First of all, we're declaring a generic type here by adding these little angle brackets to the type itself, creating a parameter. If we hover over T, we can see yeah, it's a type parameter called T. And we're constraining it to be a record where we can only pass in strings as the keys and objects as the values. That means if we go down to, let's say, loading here and try to pass in a number, then we're going to get an error because number is not assignable to type object. We then use a mapped type to essentially say, pass in the type as a property there. So this key, which is going to be loading, ends up being the type of loading. Then we intersect that with TK. K is the key that we're currently iterating over. So we're we're grabbing the thing from the object that we passed in. So this whole thing is T and then TK, if K is loading, is going to be this empty object or it might be this error message string here. And then finally, using the impt pattern, which I've also made another video about, we take this map type and we immediately index into it, turning it into a union type. For instance, if we remove this, then we'll end up with state here, which is an object that contains the key of loading and type loading. If I zoom down a little bit further, you should be able to see. And then we have error type error message string. Whereas when I index into this, we see that it turns itself into type loading or type error. This is a pretty truncated explanation, but you should be able to see that the to disco union gives you a nice alternative to just declaring the type. If you like this tip, then follow along for more weird, awesome TypeScript goodies.